This week we are talking Fashion Week. The major shows just wrapped in New York and London, and we've got all the hottest looks for you. All that plus some internet sales you won't want to miss. Right here on This Week in Fashion. Hello, everyone, and welcome to This Week in Fashion. We've got a fabulous show lined up for you, as always. Lots of gossip, opinions, and, of course, fashion tips. I'm your host, Blair Layton. I'm with my two beautiful co-hosts, Chelsea Cannell and our chat jockey, Samantha Gutstadt. Take it away, girls. All right, guys, we are so excited about today's show, but first, we have to give a shout-out to Storm On Demand for making This Week in Fashion possible. If you guys want to find out more about cloud computing, check out stormondemand.com. And also, for more great content, don't forget to, uh, to look at thisweekend.com. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, you always amaze well me. Well said. You always get that exact, and you don't have it on a prompter. <laughs> it's like a prompter in your head. I love it. <laughs> I'm Samantha Goodset. I'm your chat jockey. We would love for you to join us right now on Ustream slash This Week In and join our chat room. We love having you here during the show. Ask us questions. Or you can tweet us at This Week Fashion or email us fashionatethisweekin.com. We love having your comments. Love it. Love it. Okay, so last week New York was hit by st hit by the storm the of fashion, fashion storm. not the blizzard. Yes, thank the God. Storm. Yeah. We weren't there, unfortunately. <laughs> we but, you know, been. with all these new apps and and everything on the internet, like you don't really have to be at Fashion Week anymore. Anyone mm -hmm. in the entire world can enjoy Fashion Week at, in your home. So of we're course. here today to give you the highlights so you don't have to waste your time going on the internet and looking for all the shows. It can get completely overwhelming. It can get yeah. very There's overwhelming. There's so many. So the first one, we all chose a few. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the first one we're going to discuss that I thought, you know, she always does it right, and that's the classiest fashion designer, Miss Diane von Furstenberg. Ooh, uh. She had a terrific show. Now, this has been following with a lot of controversy, so she really needed to really have some amazing looks this time around because, honestly, she's not had a good couple weeks. She mm. put her foot in her mouth with the Michelle Obama Definitely. drama. And, and you brought us that stepped, story. Yeah, talked about that, and she stepped back on that. And then this week... They just found out one of her models was 15 years old, which is um, Not, kind of illegal or something ooh. with the fashion, the fashion CDFA. Fashion rules. And D Diane found this out after the fact. So. But the clothes were not controversial. <laughs> no. They were just perfect. So let's show some pictures of some of the looks I have pulled up. The queen of the wrap dress did not disappoint wow. this season. Her, here's the video. Her fall 2011 collection that continues spring themes of vibrant color, mostly reds, also some blues and greens, and of course the classic black. Now the most talked about pieces were the gaucho pants in all colors, you guys. Wait till you see them. And then she had some a couple of spring, um, it's not spring, but spring colored sequined dresses that are sure to be seen on. There's wow. the gaucho pant, you guys. She's gorgeous. I love That's it. gonna be the new huge trend, and she did them in every color you could imagine. And then, like I said, she did a couple of showstopper dresses that are sure to be seen. Oh, there's Brad from I love, Zoe. I love those uh, gaucho pants because you can pretty much eat whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look. And look at this one with those Burn the Look at this dress. I mean, is it's, this not? I, I love it. It's incredible. Insane. And then, like I said, she's got two pieces that are going to definitely be seen at the Oscars look at those next glasses. year. And then she also had, like, a very much of a spanish -y theme worked into this. I don't know if we, they've seen oh. it yet, but they've a lot of the women see this kind of belt that's very, in my opinion, like, Amo, um, yeah. you know, yeah. like uh, the Matador, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she yeah. did the rounded hats, yes. like the matador and you know, oh. so she must have gotten a lot of Spanish madrid -y things. But let's kind show some influences. pictures, um, Andrew, if we can. I have them titled the gaucho picture, and then I want to show the sequined oh. dress picture. Wow. Well, that's not the gaucho, but that I love that dress. The love colors. It. The red and Lots the black. Lots of red. So nice love too. that. It's very different for her because, you know, we're love always that. used to seeing the traditional wrap dress. That, look at these sequins, y'all. Wow. Now, that's going to be on the awards carpet. For not sure. maybe tomorrow, but in, like, the fall, for sure, for the Emmys. That's a great color. That is and good And then look at the, the gaucho Emmys. pants on the right. I just love those. Yeah. Wow, what and, a fun yeah. look. So, and look at that. Look at the gaucho in the green. See, you guys? So she really, re and look at the gaucho in the gray. And the, and the fur, and the faux fur, probably. Like, she really. The, lips. the whole look is just. Great. I'm sorry. That's so Palm Springs-ish, that, that last yeah. picture, right? <laughs> very, very 60s, yeah. like, Palm Springs. So yeah. she did a really exciting show. What did y'all think? I thought that was great. You know what? I, I really liked the way that the actual set of, mm -hmm. for the actual mm -hmm. fashion show was, was with that. the mirrors. and. She said it was, was a disco really cool. kind of her kind of homage to the disco age meets oh. this like Spanishy thing. And it was definitely very in line with the clothes too. Like mm -hmm. you said, just sort of 
kind of played off that. But, I mean, you know, like I said, I think it's something new and different for her. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of used to seeing the the wrap dress and the wrap shirts and the wrap everything. Right, which made her a trillions, but now of she course. can just do anything, really. And she can always bank on that, but it's nice to see her kind of doing some other mm -hmm. things. And she's not really always known for her pants, more her skirts and her dresses. Yes. So to see the gaucho pants being brought back and for her to have such a, yeah. an amazing variety of them, that's really cool. I don't know if the men are going to love their wives in the gaucho oh, pants, because they're not necessarily the sexiest thing. Nope. Yeah. But, but we, we fashionistas love, love, them. love it. Fashionistas love them, but I don't necessarily know if the husbands <laughs> will. But who cares? Because we're wearing them. We don't, dress, we don't dress for our husbands. Well, we don't dress for other women. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so that's my first show. Um, my second is, okay, I had to choose one from London. And I showed you all this designer a couple weeks ago. She dressed, I want to say it was Cameron Diaz for one of the award shows. I remember. But um, Temporally London. Oh, I love Temporally mm. London. Oh, it was the yeah. 10th anniversary show. She's been in New York the last five years. So this year she went back to London and she did it at the British Museum. Really and cool. she had a little son named Fox Temporally. Fox? Uh oh, you're so going to say that. Who's like, name. A little, I know. <laughs> who has blonde Fox hair Lake. and sat front row watching yeah. the show. And I mean, this lady dresses Halle Berry, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kate Hudson, Reese Witherspoon, Leighton Meester, Jennifer Lopez. No, yeah. Heidi Klum, she does them all. And I think they even have a Target line, Temporally Target. Well, I did not know that. Yeah, they, so. I think they do, a cheaper line. Well, Good see, go for it. Yeah. So let's show some pictures. I want you to see some of the pieces. She really, as the all the reviewers are saying, she went from Notting Hill chic to like total New York society wow, this time around. Wow, look at this. I mean, she's really stepped it up. I mean, this is also look, I mean, not... Y'all, can y'all not see like some, like Halle Berry or someone beyond wearing that to a... An, totally. Like it's Sexy. hard to get away with, but it's... Who knows? Amazing. Helena now, Bonham Carter. I mean, look, might look show at all the women on. Yeah, <laughs> look at the people on the staircase. I mean, it's just very cool. British, very classic. Love that. Well, oh. Temper Temperley's always got sort of that like edgier. It it's very classic, like Ralph Lauren, but it's but it's much edgier and more European. Yes. So that's the kind of the great thing about it is they they have a lot of really fantastic basics, mm -hmm. but they're like exaggerated and so much more. Fashion-y. Very well. European. Yes. Now, when did, now, I want to ask, because this is where I'm, I feel like a novice, but when did y'all either hear or start wearing them? Because I'm silly. I just really started getting into well, her this last year. I would say last, this last year. I don't think either of us are wearing, <laughs> wearing them because it, it, it's expensive. Okay. But probably But do you see her at like Neiman's and Saks oh, and yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but it's, you know, maybe a dress or... A uh, shirt even might be around eight, nine hundred dollars on the low end. Yeah. I mean, this is not something. So this is like Chloe. Yeah. Or Lanvin. Totally. Very, totally. very high end. And it's very much in that same exact realm, but it, not as well known, I think. But uh, but there. if you're really into fashion, you know it. You know. Okay. Yeah. So I, I mean, been around. It's been around for a long time. Yeah. Ten years think, is her anniversary. Yeah. I think for the last four or five, at least, I've, I've been. Her name's Alice. Is the woman, and yes. she's met her husband, who's like the CEO of the company. Now, this is what I could not believe. I read this today. She met her husband. He was a go-go dancer in an Amsterdam like strip oh, club. No. No. And he's supposed to look like Gene Wilder, and he's supposed to be very avant-garde. Wow. I love it. I want a, a picture of that. That's like an yeah. opposite kind of thing. Like it's not the guy meeting the girl go-go yeah, dancer. It's exactly. The woman entrepreneur meeting the. I thought it was a the... mistype, but I don't think it is. So. It's like one of us. Unless you know about these people dancer. that I don't know, please let us. Cause, no, because yeah. that's, <laughs> that's what us, I give heard. Give us some details. That's juicy. Isn't that funny? It is. Love, love that you're slipping the gossip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So who's next? Why don't you do your million? dollar fashion show. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's the Marc Jacobs show, which always is such a huge event in New York. Yes. I mean, I think people literally wait all year long to see what, what he's going to do. This show was really amazing. We've got a video of it. We'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Um, really just... Oh God. But you know the thing that was amazing about this show I'm, is that... Look how tight it is. <laughs> it's so tight. I love it though. <laughs> that is a far cry from a gaucho pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, no but you know walk. what was amazing is it was not very Marc Jacobs-esque. It was a little bit more like Louis Vuitton-ish. Okay. In, in a way, if you start, can, you know, if you look at it, it's... But this it's is the first really, time seeing of this. It's so really very hat. cool. Oh wow, I love all the polka. But does that yeah. really look like what you traditionally think of as Mark no. Jacobs? No, it's, now that's very Mark Jacobs to me. That is, you're right. The dress and the, and, and definitely the length. But um, so the whole entire thing. This was actually the amazing part about it. They they tallied it up, and somebody within his camp sort of leaked this to the media. Which of course. I'd be really pissed if my employee did mm. that. Yeah, and apparently, like when you went through all the hairdressers and the <laughs> model handlers and you know whatever else the the set, and you can see all that. 
patent leather, you know, oh. sort of encasing around the set. Um, the whole entire show cost a million dollars, which I guess a lot of, I mean, fashion shows are expensive, let's be real, but right. in this economy, and a million dollars. Well, I was going to say, the show. last couple of years, all the fashion shows have been taming down. Yeah, a lot of them, them haven't even been even doing show. shows. Yeah. A lot of them do what you call presentations, where you walk into a room with At a, a drink, and something. they just sit yeah. the model stand like yeah. a mannequin, yeah. you know, because that's a lot cheaper. Yeah. So I think he clearly got rid of that. Old oh, style my. school of thought, and this year he's he said, Let's went just the go complete for it. opposite direction. But listen, if you're going to do it and you're going to drop that much money, I mean, it should look like that. Yeah. He did it a fantastic job. And but it DDF was nice. didn't drop a million, and look how fabulous it looks. It did. But it's had a she used style, style and too. He used blue patent leather, like tufted. I mean, walls. <laughs> what do you think about it? I think, I mean, it's it's art, like the way that they did that, and even like I really like those hats. It's very like dramatic. Very dramatic. Everyone dark. needs some sort well, of hat this year. And here's the thing too that was really kind of interesting. You know, obviously music plays such a huge part in yeah. a runway mm -hmm. show. So he had all the models walking to Marilyn Manson's beautiful people. It's that dark. Which yeah, yeah. which kind I, of I like. I can't stand Marilyn Manson. He is the weirdest. Freak he is on the weird, block. but you know what? It was really quite cool. Those the clothes and how refined and like elegant they were, set to that kind of dark, right. heavy music mm -hmm. with like the patent leather blue walls. It was all. I mean, definitely very. Well the done. shock Whoever factor. designed it. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I won't act. be spending a million on my uh, on any fashion shows any time day soon. <laughs> uh, I'd be Until saving you have that. Your own line, Blair. But even then, I'm not going to waste that on that. <laughs> maybe a wedding, maybe. But yes. I'm kidding. Okay, so uh, let's get to yours because I love this designer mm. you chose, but I purposely didn't look, so okay. I want to see what. Yeah, I have an eye. Well, I chose Jay Mandel. And Jay Mandel, and I I normally love Jay Mandel. I mean, I always love Jay Mandel, and you always see um, his designs on red carpet. Someone who did we just had that wore him last well, week that we loved. We chose the best I dress. Like I did. You well, Julie have. Bowen wears Jay Mandela a lot, and yeah. I, it always blows me away. A lot of a lot the of younger stars definitely oh, do. Oh, um, Selena Gomez wore Selena the Grammys. Gomez. It's so yeah. feminine, and that's why I chose Jay Mandel, because and we have a clip, and maybe we yeah. can play the clip while I talk about it. Um, there we go. Look how oh, I beautiful. look at the lips. And white and I won't even talk fall. about the clothes yet. This is for fall, you guys. Look at I the shoes. Dress. Look at the dresses. Wow. Feminine, beautiful, airy is another way I would describe it. Um, and I just like the whole styling. I feel the runway is so simplistic. Look how simple the well, runway is. Speaking of the right, opposite of Mark, it really kind of makes you focus in on the clothes, and especially oh, with the pops of wow. color that are happening and, and the lips and everything. Yeah, yeah you're not distracted. And look oh. at these designs. They're, they just they, they drape the body so beautifully. The, I like the cut. There's a lot of asymmetry with the kind of like that's like a one shoulder kind of look. And look at these wow. trumpet kind of. Uh, it just blew now, me y'all tell me, correct me if I'm wrong, but does this seem like a little springy? Springy. springy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very springy. Yeah. So. But you know, I think that that's sort of his his whole niche or whatever is is you know the red carpet dress and sort of dressing the younger Hollywood stars. So you can see each and every one of these dresses could have a red wow. carpet moment. There's that dress, Selena Gomez's dress that, oh my God, that she you're wore. Oh so Gorgeous. right. Um, and that's that color that we said was going to be huge in the definitely. spring that they're carrying. And you're the seeing the nudes. We talked mm -hmm. a lot about the the nudes and the beiges sort of making a big, uh, you know, statement. That's fabulous. So. This it's it's really quite beautiful. But I love right, the lipstick very, that they did on the models. Springy. I love the lipstick. Well, the models actually just look stunning. Yeah, that I was mean, a beautiful show. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, good good choice. I'm Everyone did so good. I know. We actually didn't do a worst this time. We should have had a worst fashion ah! show. We you know what? That was Betsy Johnson's last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already did that. With the women that. off the street that wore her clothes. Oi. Oh, Poor okay. Betsy so <laughs> <laughs> we don't well, even know what fabulous. happened. That was an acid trip. Yeah, that's that for was sure. beyond. <laughs> oh, someone wrote, um, "I want those lips." I don't know which lips they're referring to. And someone Pop else. Off the models. Someone else said, "Do they? Why, why do they have so many fat models?" Oh, if you think they're fat, I think you it, must they think they're huge. Being facetious yeah, because yeah. there aren't any fat models yeah. there. But <laughs> you know, Betsy Johnson had the real women walking. Right, yeah. which right? was kind of a mess. Yeah. not the real women, but her but clothes just, on them was a mess. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Well, the real women were kind so, of So since so, uh, since uh, since to stay with our theme of Fashion Week, we've decided to choose the winners and losers of, of the celebs that attended Fashion Week. Because as you know, Fashion Week is not only about the fashion these days; it's literally about who's sitting front row and who's getting the most pictures taken. So, let's go. Um, my first winner, and I want to hear what y'all have to think. I had to do two winners because this was just too f good, but. Olivia Palermo oh. at the Ports 1961 mm -hmm. show in preppy Aspen chic. Let's look at her picture. I mean, I this is how it. Blair would dress if he was a girl. Yeah, I mean, look, the high-waisted shorts with the tights and the heels and the little plaid shirt and the little over jacket. I mean, she is so perfect. She I'm is sorry. So She's she kind of a bee with an itch on that show. Oh, but I love her. But I don't give a crap. She is literally 
She, I got it. Yes, she really quite. Can I tell you that on Glee this week they had this look? Really? I wonder if they got it if she influences that. Like they had that Aspen chic. They literally yes. had um, Leah Michelle dressed really? in a plaid shirt with awesome sh like that look. Well, there you go. I want to recreate all, that. She's we should, definitely we should on do trend. That. Yeah. Let's do recreate yeah, the, because next, that uh, was, the week after that. Next. Was we quite should do beautiful. that. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 I, I chose it because it wasn't like a va va boom dress, but it was just like, look, Sexy. I can mix and match and look dope. And that's what I'm she's, Olivia Palermo. That's what she's really good at, though. Yeah. It's like sort of doing that unexpected thing. And, and half of her outfits, it's like you would, they're, they're simple and they're easy, but you would never think of them. And yeah. then when you see them on her, you're like, of course. She's so fab. Yeah. So she the next beautiful. one I had to choose is because this picture to me is so priceless. I titled this The Three Musketeers. Let's put it up and you'll see why. I mean, oh. we've oh. got Chase Coffer, <laughs> Ryan, what's his name? <laughs> um, uh, and Keelan, what's his name? Ryan Philippi. Ryan, Ryan Philippi, Philippi. sorry, yeah. Philippi. And uh, Keelan Lutz. I mean, How look at the three of them. I know. Ryan. <laughs> yeah, poor Ryan. I'm so sorry. She's been but look trapped. how cute they all three are together. I mean, they literally look like they walked out of Ocean's 15. You know what I mean? Like they're an beyond. ad. It looks like an ad. It looks like an ad. Especially, I love Chase's dark blue suit. I think it's to die for. But those three, I mean, come on. That was just. And Ryan didn't have a tie, which I liked. He just did a T-shirt. Yeah, I mean, they look like a... it could not have been done better. Those three, I and mean, it wasn't on purpose. No. You know what I mean? They looked absolutely. I mean, like, wow. Come on. I, I will have any any one of those. Yeah. I'm, and I'm not <laughs> one a of you, a and you of, and you. I'm not a huge fan of Chase's style, but he looked good at the Calvin Klein <laughs> show. So. Sam, anyway, <laughs> that was my winners. Let us know if anyone's commenting on them. Well, you know what? We actually are. We're getting someone over there who uh, who who wants to know exactly what divine abilities um, Olivia Plermo has. <laughs> yeah. And they're they so said, upset. They said, I will actually see myself out of here. So please don't leave. It's yeah. okay. We're, it's, we're just saying it's she is okay. a, a divine fashion You goddess. understand the way we talk or the way I speak. <laughs> I, it's very overdramatic, clearly. <laughs> I went to drama school my whole life. Uh, so when I say someone's a goddess when referring to fashion, that just means I love how they dress and they just have this appeal to them that makes me feel like a god. I don't know. I mean, come on. Anyway, <laughs> I feel like uh, some viewers like the suits that they wear in Dumb and Dumber. That's kind of oh. fun. You remember those suits with like? Yes. That's actually in style again. The shorter hem. I know. Well, that's what I Please. wear. The shorter pants. I like Let's it. just put that to bed right now. Yeah. What? Like, don't put a bowl on your head and get the haircut. No Dumb and Dumber <laughs> suits. Powder like, yeah. pass. But anyway, pass. let's go to your okay. best dress. Moving on. So we've got my best dress. Okay, I've actually got two in the same picture. So we'll show you the picture right here. Rachel Bilson and Kate Bosworth. Now this was at the Burberry show in London. I just thought. I yeah, mean, I almost chose this, wow. stuff, but I thought I'd let you have it. They look amazing. No, they really did look great, I mean, especially Kate. Oh, the socks. They just. The I mean, I love the orange the clutch socks. with the dress that Rachel has, and she's obviously such a style star. Same with uh, Kate Bosworth. I mean, Kate she looks, looks like a bit of a mess in that picture, but she looks like she didn't do her hair. Like she focused yeah, on the outfit she and didn't focused leave time for hair and makeup. <laughs> yeah, well, but, London. But who cares? It doesn't matter because she just looked. I mean, I I would love to wear. I, I would have nowhere to wear those outfits, but I would love to wear them. Want to know? Funny tidbit about those two. Huh. What? A little bit of gossip. They just did a movie called BFF and Baby together. So they're actually really good friends. They Tight. work together a lot. Um, their oh. friend directed it, and there was a very big fashion influence in the movie. So we're gonna. It's gonna oh. be coming out soon. But maybe they're besties and they share clothes. Mm -hmm. And maybe they'll come on the show and share clothes with us. Yes, okay. exactly. Dream. Okay, so don't you have another one? Um, no, that was my. That's, okay, that's, my that's your best. Okay, so here we go. So now it's time for losers, <laughs> the non-goddesses. Okay, so our first loser is I just can't stand this couple, and I'm just gonna go for it. The Von Campens um, from the Real Housewives of New York City. I mean, uh, what, I what, just I can't. You like, know what? And the funny thing is, is they think they, they are just, so they fashionable. They just they think they they think their their shit doesn't stink. Pardon I mean, my French. It's ridiculous. But, I mean, it's like okay, for, can, but can we discuss? Uh. She's on a television show coming into its fifth season. She lives in New York City. Could she at least get a better hair colorist? You know what I mean? She, it's like her, she's There's like not carrot a whole lot you can do with that. Well, dye it. <laughs> this is or bothering me. Like, yeah, that thing. They just try so hard, and I well, just had to stick it to them. And they're such snots about fashion. Yeah. Like, they are such snots about it. And he wears... I mean, he wears I mean, the most ridiculous. ridiculous stuff. He's wearing a white jacket with. That's not even the worst thing. He's it just weird. It's just they, they're so bad. I know it's red rude. patent leather pants at one point. Yeah, I saw the red him. patent leather pants. I mean, he only wore Prince red patent leather pants. Yeah, I mean, Ricky right. Martin. You're right. Yeah, well, not even Ricky. I wouldn't be surprised so, if that guy wore. I can't. Now this next girl I actually did a tour <laughs> with when I was a pop star in Europe. I did a tour on ice once. This is so funny. It was B3 on ice. Yeah. And so it was what? my yes, it was my boy band on ice with wow. major skaters skating around us. We 
<laughs> Katarina Vitt, Victor Petrinko, and my dear friend Oksana Bayol. But Oksana really messed it up this time. Look at her outfit from Fashion well, Week. Well, she's not really known as a fashion I well, well, let's, she let's show the. I mean. Oh, oh I can see her. Oh, oh, exactly. You can see her face. Have you ever? Is she sweating in her pits? Oh, my God. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, this Oksana, needs a this needs I've been a trying to find Oksana on Facebook because we really were good friends. I have her number, but it's been disconnected. Well, help but her, darling. I need to call her and say, what the Someone hell? Someone just are you wrote smoking? pit stains. Yeah, exactly. I hope I don't have any. Oh, God. Um. Well, then now is not the time to find out. We are live well, on air. There's so much going on in that that's not okay. Yeah, I mean, come on. She's a mess. I think Ooh. she must be back on the alcohol because I don't think she dressed like that if she Blame was sober. Blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. alcohol. Her hair and makeup looked okay. Yeah, her hair looked okay. It looked okay. But anyway, I don't know what's going on with Oksana. If you see this, Oksana, please call me because I've been calling you for like a month now and your phone's disconnected. Oh, stalker. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So, you're a loser. Oh, did you give your winner? I, no, I, she, oh, okay, she did you're right. Other segment. Okay, got you. Sorry. Um, my loser. Oh, I cannot wait for you guys to see this because you have not <laughs> no, seen, I seen it, it yet. No, I haven't seen it. Oh, Kate God. Moss. I hate to do this to you, oh. my lovely friend, because she's usually dressed so nicely. But take a look at this picture. Oh, this is in London. Really? The bride to be. She's oh, getting boy. married. What is this? Can you guys please explain it? But it where looks is like she going? She's, oh, Michelle? she's in a after a fashion week event well, after one of the shows. It must have been a designer. Was it Vivian Westwood or something? Oh, it didn't even list the designer. I mean, if I were the designer, I wouldn't put my name on that, that is either. That's the weirdest thing. I've it looks ever like seen. Saran Wrap. Honestly, it looks like she's out for her bachelorette party and some, As a joke. one of her batch, bachelor. Yeah. You know, this has like a Miss America her. weird thing about it's it. Got the and it's Saran and it's Saran. Then the metal. Or and the... then that's like aluminum foil. Yeah. This is like when you go to a baby shower and you. It has to be some joke. To this, this I, can't it, be serious. Oh, wait, right? Didn't, I don't think, um, it, I don't Bruno think so. have a tin foil or Velcro thing at Fashion Week? That funny movie with uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the Velcro. He gets a Velcro. Running into everything, or everyone was sticking. That to reminds him. me of that. It does. You know what? I didn't find the joke. If anyone else knows what the, yeah, what the punchline is to this <laughs> outfit, please let me know because yeah. I I, I don't didn't, know. I didn't get it. Disaster. We have a viewer still talking about Oxana. She goes. They go. She needs antiperspirant. She does. Wow. She needs. She just needs a lot. She does. She needs a lot. Okay. Nice. We're not sure. So enough of the winners and losers and all that good stuff. But let's move on to Sam's segment. So get on your computer right now. Start taking notes because yeah. you're gonna want to get this information. Oh, she's got good yes. stuff. And this is this week in sales. This is this week in sales. So whether you're watching this um, live, or if you're watching this later on, get on your computer and go to these websites because these are the must-have sites for getting really, really amazing clothing for either 50% off, 30% off, up to 80% off. I found deals. So right away, some of my favorites. And uh, are you okay there? <laughs> there, was a, there was a spider in his mug. I'm that sorry. is so it gross. Was, <laughs> it was spider in a mug. Um, so one of my favorite uh, two sites for flash sales are Hot Look and Guilt Group. These Love are amazing. Hot Look, Hot Look and Guilt Group. Uh -huh. So what I found right now in Guilt Group is there is 80% off sweaters. Now these aren't just sweaters that you're because obviously we're entering into spring summer. Mm -hmm. The great thing about sweaters, if you buy a classic sweater, is it's gonna last. I, any, I mean, yeah, you'll wear it next year. Yeah, or buy on a your, cold night in LA in July. You can layer it exactly, and cashmere is great because you can actually wear it in the summer. It's not yeah. that sweaty. Yeah. So Guild Group, I found this sale. It's eighty percent off all their sweaters. Wow. Unbelievable wow. lines we found. We have some photos. Eighty percent um, off sweaters. That's I think fantastic. we have some coming up. Photos? Maybe not. Um, oh. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe they'll pop up after. But anyway. so I took some. Go on Guild Group right now. You're gonna see it's right away on a banner. Eighty percent off sweaters. Nice. Um, I think we've actually got. There oh, there we go. Oh, cute cardigans. Look at these oh, look, lines. you can wear these in it's the Daryl summer. Kay. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're bright colors. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Um, look but. at that. Fifty nine dollars. Wow. And there's like a sweater dress. I mean, these are just all different. It, it's eight, up to eighty percent off. I just can't get over that. So. Nice. And then on Hot Look. Which, by the way, did you know Hot Look was just bought by Nordstrom's? I did not know that. Yeah, they just announced it this week. Wow. That's very exciting. And so Hot Look's big time. Well, Hot Look had some great deals. Um, there were two different ones that stuck out to me. Love. Yeah, I mean, Decades 2 is having wow. a sale. So oh, I, it, really? Yeah. And it's up to 50% off. I mean, it, yes, it's a high price point, but if that's something you're looking for and you don't want to spend, for example, $2,465, spend $1,000 and look at that gorgeous evening Wait, so this is Decades, gown. the store in L.A.? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's amazing. Amazing. Hot Look? Yeah. Oh, wow. Amazing. Absolutely unbelievable. And I found that's another hard. another sale that's upcoming right now is Rock and Republic, all their lines. So it's coming up. So go check out hotlook.com and make sure to stay on top of what's on sale. Another big favorite of mine is shopbop.com. Mm -hmm. Now, go to their sales section. If you go online and go to their sales section, um, any item that you're looking at on Shopbop in the next couple weeks always goes on sale. And it starts at 30, 
then it goes to 50, and then it goes to 80. Wow. Or and their sales are amazing. I mean, there's like literally 25 to 40 pages worth of sales stuff, and it's all oh God. really yeah. good stuff. It's not like the leftover discarded stuff that nobody wanted. It's like you, you look at that stuff. and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. I, I really hate when I go to a store and I get excited because it's like 50% off at Fred Siegel or whatever, and you go in and it's picked over and you don't have a lot of good no items. No sizes, no colors. Yeah, and yeah. you're like, why? Why so do I even I, look? So online, I mean, Shop Up is always my favorite. It's amazing. Go check it out. Go to the sales section and follow something. If you're not a common size, I'd say follow it. And Definitely. watch it go up to 70% off. Wow, those are really, those are amazing. really good tips. I mean, especially I like the decades, too. Like, if you don't live in Los Angeles and you can't go there, I mean, yeah. that store is so amazing. I know. To be decades. able to actually Ugh. own something Ugh. from there. Dream yeah, I, didn't know, I had no idea Decades was getting in the online business. No, neither so. did I. Good for them. Yeah, it's fantastic news. Very Thanks exciting. Thanks filling us in, love. <laughs> Donka dear. Okay, so before we move on to the next little topic, we are going to do a little discussion with you about this amazing new workout thing called Bowflex. Oh, awesome. without, without Bowflex is the sponsor of our show. And without Bowflex, not only would we not be here, but I wouldn't be skinny sitting here. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> we would not be fitting into our clothes. Yeah. Yeah. We, we would not be fitting in the studio. We would be all headed to Jenny Because we all know that ice cream I have at night uh, from Thrifty oh, doesn't help. Oh, best accessory for spring secret? and summer is a Bowflex. Exactly. Best accessory mm -hmm. for spring and summer is a Bowflex. So, all it is is 30 minutes a day. You work out, y'all. 30 minutes a day. It's the That's tread it. climber. Look at it. That actually kind of looks fun. And it combines the motion of a treadmill, a stepper, and an elliptical into one machine. So it's three in one. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. And you amazing. don't have to run. You just grab your favorite magazine, L, W, Glamour, whatever, and put it on display and walk. Look at calories burned in 30 minutes. 320. And you can get a free, 30 minutes. Yes. Free yep. info kit. Just call the Bowflex number, 800 Four three six six zero six three. You've always wanted to do that. Wow. And uh, Kevin Pollock, <laughs> one of our founders of the site and who has the most popular show, the uh, Kevin Chat Show, um, he has been using it and apparently he like is looking almost as good as me. <laughs> so hey. um, anyway, he looks great. So Bowflex is the S to the hit. I love it. I love that it's three in one because it actually is like doing stairs or something. It really right. tightens the behind the rear, well, which is great you, for yeah. little skirts and shorts in the summer. Which mm -hmm. you definitely need. Mm -hmm. And ladies, we are headed into bathing suit season a little too fast. I'm not so comfortable mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. But with a Bowflex, you, you know, and you're I ready just And I do Pilates like four days a week for like an hour each, so four hours a week. This would like cut it all half and I could be at home watching The Viewer this weekend and doing it. So oh, Yes, you could be doing your research. Yeah. Keeping up to date <laughs> Keeping up. while you're running. You can shop online while you're on it. Yeah, because oh. you're not running. Yeah. You're not running. You can, you can, you go can literally be shop. shopping for outfits for your new fantastic body. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Amazing. go get a bow flex win -win. and go to Hot Look and keep watching this weekend. Oh, work. Okay. <laughs> and our final segment of the day that we love is Steel versus Splurge. Steel versus Splurge. Take it away, Splurge. All right. So basically what we did is found um, a red carpet look, one from Fergie. Now some people kind of feel either way about Fergie, but this was sort of a fun uh, look that she had uh, at, during Super Bowl week. Okay. So it was before one of the events, and of course in you guys probably D. saw in yes in Dallas. And um, so this whole look put together, I mean, if, okay, so it's Cute. a Randy Ram dress. Um, Randy she, Ram is a friend. I love oh really? Randy. There yes. you go. Okay. Um, shoes are her own, Fergie, and then the jacket is Balmain, which Let's face it, that's really well, going to be uh, a wow. couple thousand at, dollars, I'm guessing. At, at least. So we were able to actually get this look for less. Obviously, the shoes are Fergie, so you guys can afford those because she actually has a pretty decently priced line yeah. of shoes. And where do you get her um, shoes? You can get them at Nordstrom's. You okay. can get them at Macy's. I mean, it's pretty easy to find her shoes. You could probably even find them online somewhere. But then the dress, we found it at uh, ABS by Alan Schwartz. It's an animal Love. print dress. Um, $60 at E-Dress Me. E what? dress me. $60. E dress me. Yeah. What is so, that? Like E dr D R E S. -S, 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 -S yeah. E D R E S S me dot com. Okay. Right? So the dress you can find it there. It's just an ABS dress, and then um. We have a picture of it. We should. Wow. So well, while that while well, that's coming up, and then the um the military jacket. It's a leather like a faux leather military jacket, and Nordstrom dot com for thirty. Nine dollars. Can you believe that? Thirty-nine dollars uh, for a jacket that looks that that's good. Forever oh twenty-one. Well, I good. wish our viewers could see it, but I know. Yeah, um, I, that's like fabulous. We're not, we're not, so the military yeah. jacket at Nordstrom's, the ABS leopard print e at E Dress Me, mm -hmm. and then the Fergie shoes to match her outfit, which is a combined. Hers is probably like a five grand outfit. Yeah. And this is probably no. It's under a hundred. It's ninety-nine. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. Ninety-nine dollars for the whole outfit. 
Oh my God. So actually the pictures for some reason didn't make it into the post, but if you guys want to find out and, and actually take a look at the, the pieces, they will be in the Dropbox later on, so, um, or in the, in the post, I'm sorry. <laughs> they should have been in the Dropbox, <laughs> they will be in the post. It's all right. You, you can know check what I'm it saying. out on, on the blog or yeah, on the post. Exactly. Yeah, on the blog, on the post. but we just gave you the website, so yeah. anyway. Yeah, you Perfect. can totally find them on there. They're really easy to find and, and you'll, you'll love them. I mean, well, it's a great little uh, like date night outfit. I love date know? night outfits. <laughs> Love it. So excited to see what people are going to be wearing. The Oscars, y'all. Yeah. Oscars is coming up next week. So, or the Oscars is Sunday. Yeah. So next week will be our Oscar show with all the best and worst dress. We're going to go all out, maybe even be having champagne. And I think we'll be dressed up ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we are going to really go in and out of the Oscars and discuss every single thing from fashion to the show to everything. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we have a special jewelry guest, right? Yes, we have the Passionate Collector joining us next week, the a jewelry passionate designer. Collector. They uh, provide jewelry for a lot of celebrities, and they're going to come and give us their two cents on. And probably put you on some fabulous jewelry. So yeah. we have a lot we would to look love forward that. to. So tune in next week for our This Week in Fashion Oscar special. And thanks for watching our little Fashion Week wrap up. Hope you enjoyed the show. Bye. Bye.